Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Sagittarius. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple. Scorpio! Scorpio, Scorpio, let's look at this. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like there might be or there have been some issues in the past where some of you guys have had choices to make, like lots of choices to make. This could be just choices in general, depending on your life, or this could mean commitment issues, but I feel like you're coming out of that energy, but you feel overwhelmed, all right? I feel like it's time for you guys to breathe. I still feel like you guys are faced with many choices, I believe, having to do with this relationship. Mm-hmm. All right. So I feel like narrowing things down is where you are at this point. I also see here there's this energy of, I don't know, not moving forward, being stagnant in a sense. This is the Seven of Pentacles is reversed. This card talks about you putting your effort into something and waiting, right? But I see you might be, I don't know, your motivation I think is questionable at this point. You're being advised that you have to keep going. There's something that you want to give up on and you probably shouldn't because I feel like you're very close to whatever it is you're trying to do. This is some kind of delayed success. It's something where you have to wait. It is what it is. We also have the Five of Pentacles here for you. So Scorpio, while you're waiting, I don't know what it is that you were doing before. I feel like, I feel like the energy is you've had choices. All right. And I feel like when it comes to, and I'm looking at this, I'm looking at, okay, this is five of pentacles. Five of pentacles reverse talks about you kind of swimming in cash. I'm doing good. I got a lot. But you know, if you spend that extra dollar on that watch or whatever, you're not going to be, you're not going to be happy and you're not going to be, uh, well, you're going to be broke. So I feel like you guys need to really watch your spending in a sense. But I also feel like here you're waiting on some kind of results from something. All right, you're being advised that whatever this is, continue to put your energy into it and you're going to be successful at whatever this is. All right, I feel like you guys are thinking of letting go and giving up on something, but I feel like you're giving up because you kind of can at the moment. I don't think you can. I'm just here to tell you, you can't. So I don't, I'm not sure, you know, when folks get some money, they're feeling good to the so when they get home and see all the bags and, you know, all the stuff that they bought, you ain't so happy no more. Things ain't looking too good. So basically, if I close my eyes and blink them, one swipe, you're done. So anyway, let's see how this pertains. Again, let's see how this pertains to the relationship. Because I'm seeing here that there are some choices that need to be made with something. And I feel like Scorpio's keeping their options open about something because we have Sagittarius here who... They also have a decision that needs to be made about something, but theirs is more like, it's kind of like conflicting ideas, I would say. They're having some kind of difficulties thinking about something, some decision that needs to be made. And I kind of feel like this is something that they don't want to compromise on, but they are going to compromise. That's what it looks like. I know, it's time to compromise. Some decision needs to be made. And I think Sagittarius is tired of, I don't know, somebody being all over the place it looks like and i feel like this is a scorpio that might be difficult to tame Ooh, did i say that yes i kind of feel like this is a feisty one but i also feel like we have somebody here who's stuck in mental conflict for our sagittarius it's time to compromise it's time to make a decision about something i kind of see here if i were to just look at this top line i'm going to say that you guys have some history together it might be in and out energy there might be some consistent dating. You guys could have been together long term, whatever this means to you. But I feel like if I look at this first line, it could be somebody thinking of or you guys both have this common energy of a time when this relationship was better. It was innocent. You know, so I kind of feel like here you guys might be having some nostalgic memories. But if we go back into Sagittarius's energy, this talks about making the decisions that I'm about to make based off facts, not gossip. Oh, this is a harsh personality. Mm. This is somebody who's very structured. All right, this, this is a King of Swords energy. So this is one of those strategic guys or girls. They think deeply. They see everything. They make their decisions based on what it is they see, what is before me, 
what adds up it's not about what you're telling me so i also feel here that uh, there's some decisions that need to be made a little bit further and i'm getting this story i don't know i feel like scorpio i don't know what's going on with scorpio in like the last couple of readings or whatever but i feel like they have some decisions to make with somebody that they know is not fully together all right I also feel in this connection that you have somebody here who tries to blame other folks or, you know, somebody tries to like dismantle your argument like A, B, C, and D. Oh no, that can't be right because if that was right, it would have been this color, that color. You know, just like the going back and forth. It's like petty, tit, tit for tat, right? So I think that there's something here. I just had another reading where somebody was just like, it was more about that karmic sort of connection versus that romantic connection. I see here that somebody's structured. I see that there's somebody here who's very harsh in terms of what they believe. This is what it is, and they really don't hold back. But I also see here that they are vibing with somebody. It looks like they're vibing with a couple of people. They may have gotten into another connection with somebody because nostalgic memories. When I see nostalgic memories in a couple's reading, that signals things are not like they used to be. And now somebody's feelings may have gone awry. Let's take a look and see what this all could mean. I'm going to pull these. Okay. Let's see what this all means. Ooh. Tell me about this relationship. Tell me about the memories. Tell me what's going on. What's going on here? I see a range of emotions having to do. My emotions. It's funny because if you look at the Ace of Cups, it does talk about emotions, but notice see they're they're up in the air it's like it's reversed so my emotions it is what it is i'm not operating off that i'm operating off what is real what is before me what i can see getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost mm, now you guys could be somebody who was brewed together before and you broke up or both you guys are kind of to an extent keeping your options open like i feel like I feel like Scorpio may have honed in. If Scorpio does have feelings for somebody else, I feel like you've honed in or you're going to hone in on who or what. I also feel like Sagittarius struggles with the same issue, who and what. Getting to know each other. Both of you guys look like you're taking the time to get to know other people. That's what it looks like. Let your friends help you. Ask for support from others. I don't think you guys are doing that. I don't know how out in the open this is in terms of breakups or i don't know that this if you guys were together either you've been uh apart for a while and to people is not a big surprise like whatever and then to some of you guys who friends and family don't know yet that's interesting i don't think you're reaching out to friends to help you new love am i gonna go with am i gonna go with scorpio or is Scorpio going to go with Sagittarius? However it goes for you. I feel like you guys are entertaining or considering entertaining other people. Because you're not necessarily satisfied with this connection that I see here. Like if I take a look at this, I see that Scorpio is trying to gain some kind of control over something. And I see you, again, trying to gain control over your choices, your emotions. What is best for me? Honing things down. And the thing is, I see that energy again. It's success. It's it's it is consistent. Is what I'm trying to say. Reflection, assessment, and control again. But I do see the the conflict, the change, the instability that could have to do with the finances. All right, this is emotional withdrawal. So you trying to figure out how you can survive away from this connection. Like this is a choice. I don't have to stay in this connection. I could move over to something else. I have choices. And I think the same thing can be said for Sagittarius as well. This talks about partnership, balance, duality. I'm having difficulties in it. All right? This is how I feel. I feel what I feel. But I do want... I, I feel like, in a sense, this is emotional withdrawal as well. Right? But you found somebody new that you're vibing with. So, typically, when you have this card, this is the Ace of Cups, it talks about some kind of like a, something that is new. A new baby relationship. And it's funny because we do pull to getting to know each other nostalgic memories it could be somebody from your past because the cards do say that as well all right um you deserve love i think both you guys were like questioning that i feel like both you guys have choices i feel like both you guys are trying to get to know other people or entertaining the thought of getting to know other people do i see this ending i see that somebody feels overwhelmed about it 
And I feel like there are some folks, you guys, who are going to make up your minds. And I see that that's kind of at the forefront. Like, I have choices. I don't have to stay in this. I need to compromise. I need to make a choice. Can we get back to where we were? And I'm. it looks like I'm kind of doubting it, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. All right. See you soon. Bye.